Here, I, uh, I'm recycling. My husband makes frames and stretchers and crates for artists, and we're in the same space, and we work together. And I just wanted to show, um, I also, uh, he has scraps left over from the frame, so he makes all these little mini frames, like every uh, two to three years. And I fill them with these very mini paintings, and I always have those in my studio for uh, very affordable, under $100, uh, because my, my approach is I, I want to, uh, everyone's welcome to have a piece of art. It has to be attainable at many levels. And um, this is always this uh, project that I do every few years. Um, this is uh, making bags from recycled material. I'm trying to get my studio to zero waste. Pillows from the leftover canvas on the sides. Um, you know, you always have, when you stretch canvas, there's that remnant. I make t-shirts, and I started in 2005. I'm on Etsy. I run uh, three shops on Etsy, and it's uh, fun and simple actually, because uh, you can feed it all into one PayPal account. So it's not like running three shops, but it's three different looks. Why do you have three shops? Three different looks, and I'm experimenting with, one is uh, U.S. organic cotton. So I have that shop where I uh, promote U.S. made, and then... Do uh, you have a portal that ties all three together? PayPal. Everything, everything I do flows into PayPal. Just at the, I don't do, I don't put any money into promotion at all. So, but if I visit one shop, I didn't know that the two. Shops I have it listed. Oh. And do you make money from Etsy? Yes, I do. <laughs> when I least expect it, or when I need it, uh, and. You know, in spring when it was t-shirt season, it, it's it's amazing. You know, it's nice to have the PayPal account filling up. And then I have a debit card, so I don't use credit cards. I only use the debit card, and I spend the money in the PayPal account, so you spend what you make. So all the shops go in there. Um, I also do digital printing, so all my printing is green. It's uh, there's a fabric printer right there in the picture, and I had to learn that. Um, on my site now, you're going to see parts of my site. Here's look for fiddleheads. That's one of my lines. Kitten in the engine. Uh, that has my writing on it. Um, then this is patronage. So I have collecting. These are many ways you can find my art. So studio visits. Um, oh, a subscription that's new. So friends, uh, if they want to contribute to my mission and my goals, uh, and they want a piece of art, they can uh, pay. It's like layaway, in a sense. They can pay $100 for however long, and we make this arrangement. OK. All right, online I also have um, future plans, desires. Uh, I have a wish list that has links and the amount. So I put, I just put everything out there, my dreams and what I need. What, what's on one of those wish lists? I need a uh, gold leaf. Um, it's like a thousand dollars or something. So that's there. Um, I need paper. You know, I just, every, everything, my wish list of my art supplies are on this page. And I, when I get something, I take it off and put something else back on. Um, this is a list of uh, things that I'm working on, completed, completed, current. So I'm, I'm letting uh, patrons know how uh, busy I am and how determined. Um, here's a project, World Rivers. <coughs> Another project. I'm going to skip forward. This is, I'm on Twitter. Um, and I love Twitter. There's over 4,000 artists on Twitter. Let's see, let me get to. Here is, see, the slash mark uh, and then art. We're having a discussion on art. That's the way 
uh, some people think we're just tweeting, I just had orange juice, and it's not the case. We're having dialogue about standards um, of art and how to uh, come up with standards. Uh, we have art walks on Thursday night where you can upload a picture. Here is a painting that I did. It's a little stretched out. But I tweeted that. Here I'm using uh, Twitter. I'm trying to get this to the International Space Station, so I'm tweeting with some astronauts and uh, introducing this idea into the public. I mean, will it happen? I don't know. But I'm having fun doing it, and it's like a performance piece, too. Here's the curtain we're working on. Uh, I started a team with Etsy that's all green, Etsy Earth, and this Twitter uh, account is listing our shops only. So this is a marketplace. So I started this team because I don't want to push my t-shirts through my personal account. This is a marketplace only, and it's really taking off. Um, a blog. So painting sales, patrons, online gallery, space rental and events, teaching, workshops, t-shirts. So Lee, where's the biggest source of your income from? It changes all the time. Sometimes, like the beginning of the year, I sold five paintings. So that was huge. And how do you make sales happen? Not just for your paintings, but for anything? I think I, I talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's how we, the, the idea for this panel came from Lee. Her husband is my framer, so I went in to pick up my some work. And she had, we got in this long talk anyway. She said she threw away, she would thrown away her resume years ago, and she just works in her pajamas all day. And, and <laughs> yeah, that sounded good to me. And she was talking about this thing called Twitter and, um, and so I, and I thought, I think other artists, I was very excited, and I thought other artists would like to know about this too, and so this, the idea for this panel was born. But so she, she does make, she makes stuff happen. She says she's just out there and without ever leaving her home. Um, I hardly recognized her. I told her she's, she's actually a very attractive woman. She, she's cleaned up. So, 